Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is 1-6, a real doctor. Let's just get this started right away. And here comes more dialogue. This game does have a lot of dialogue. I'll just tell you that right now. That's kind of like why... I mean, that's why I'm kind of spinning a lot of this dialogue into a more comedic sense, because games with a lot of dialogue don't typically make good walkthroughs. <laughs> but I think this game, in general, makes a good walkthrough because of the high difficulty and high learning curve of this game in general has. So, the reason why I picked this one, or at least one of the reasons, is because of that. And we've got a surgery going on right away. Uh, the, the later, I should say, the further you get down into the game, or get through the game, the less dialogue they, there is. So, this will be reduced through time, but it'll be more of like brief spurts of story and character development. So, we've got to get these tumors out of the intestines, and I intend to do that. So, here we go. Oh, we also got to remove some inflammation, but, uh, you know how to get rid of the inflammation by now if you've seen the last part. So, I shouldn't have to explain that. Just use some anti-inflammatory. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. And diagonal cut. Yeah! See, I haven't missed those at all since I adjusted the Wii Remote sensitivity. And that is a lot of inflammation. But don't worry. We will get rid of it. All I will be doing is taking care of the big ones first. And then the small ones. Proceed as normal. This takes a little bit of time, but don't be discouraged. And what? How did I miss the bottle? I was gonna I was just gonna say don't miss any of the uh, um, inflammations because if you miss, you know, you'll miss your chance at getting the XS rank thing. And somehow I end up missing the vial itself and poking the intestine underneath it. How did I miss? This thing is huge compared to these tiny little dots of inflammation. It's blasphemy, I tell you. Blasphemy. Anyway, there we go. That is the inflammation. And let's just keep recovering his health until Angie... Oh, she's not going to say anything more. Pardon me, I forgot about that. The tumors are right here. And there we go. Two at a time will do, so that's what I am going to do. Boink, and boink, and I am not very accurate in my tray placement. Ah, I was expecting more cool ranks, putting stuff in the tray, and I'm still not getting cool ranks when going in the tray. Isn't there one over here? No? No? Where? Oh, one up there? Hmm. I could have swore there's at least one on the right side there. I guess I was wrong. Now, obviously I was wrong. <laughs> and that takes care of that. Unless they form randomly. So, that might be the thing. So I'm going to check around with the ultrasound here. And I will check around the area. You don't have to tell me, Angie. I'm, I'm pinging. Hmm. So, there's evidently nothing there. Or at least, it doesn't seem like there is anything there. We shall see if there's going to be any complications later, if there is going to be any. And you notice that there's also a... Good work, Doctor. I forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to gel the wound beforehand. That was a bad mistake on my part, and I deserve to get that bad rank. <sighs> I just got a little bit carried away with my commentary there and forgot about the gameplay basics. Oh, always gel the poop before you put the bandage over it. Okay, it's not poop, it's just blood. <laughs> so, yeah, there is still something odd about the uh, results, I shouldn't say results, about the uh, closing up there of the patient, because the, the, he wasn't showing signs of improvement, yet I decided to close him up anyway. But even Angie didn't see anything at the time as well, so yeah. And look at me, I'm casually walking the streets like a normal citizen, and not in my doctor's scrubs now, I am the normal guy. You know, only I wouldn't wear something like that, I would wear more of a t-shirt and shorts. That's it's kind of like my style, and the what? What is, uh, um, taxi, go, drive faster, go, 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 
Go, oh, man, that was fast. <laughs> so, it's the patient that we had trouble with before. You know, the guy that we just uh, healed up? Oh! Poopers! Well, we didn't heal him up, obviously, because... Wait, she's calling me careless, but she didn't see anything either. What is she talking about here? And this is going to be a little sad storyline about him being sad that he, he missed the diagnosis of the patient because he missed whatever was causing the patient problems. <sighs> oh, it's a sad moment. I feel like crying again, just... <sighs> I don't know if I'll... <gasps> I'm so sad. But, yes. <clears throat> Wait, three times? That's kind of rude about... But she's chewing me out? This is unbelievable. She's the new girl, and I'm the old guy that's been working there. Only I'm the hot young nurse... I mean, hot young doctor-surgeon guy. And uh, what am I trying to say here? I don't even know. I got tied up in my own words. <laughs> so that was my bad and probably some of my worst commentary ever. And uh, whoa! That's uh, kind of harsh there, Angie. That's... wow. I don't think... You didn't do anything about that either. You said that you didn't notice anything either when I did the ultrasound. So what are you talking about, Angie? <sighs> uh, may I add something about his name, Dr. Styles? Because this game was originally on the DS, you know, stylus to control the game. You know, you use a stylus to control the game. That's what his name is based off of is the stylus. Uh, it's kind of like a pun, in a way. I guess rain is kind of calming. It is quite beautiful. I sort of make videos on the rain every once in a while myself. <laughs> no, you're not useless as a doctor. You are associated with PK Gam, and we will get through this game together. And that is the greatest pep talk you could possibly ask for, and no... Boy, there was quite an accident, and we have got to get down there and fix them up, which we are going to do in 1-8 here. Life or death! Boink! And boink. Whoa, dramatic music going on here. That means this is an extremely situ... I was going to say extremely situation. Extremely serious situation. There is no time to lose. We have got to fix up these patients before they die, and man, this is horrendous, and she is having quite a breakdown, as you can see here, but don't worry, we are going to take care of this, or get in trouble. <laughs> and as you can see, this is a pretty small person here, it's only 94 pounds, wow. But we are going to do our best to save this person from the accident. We are going to learn a new technique here of, what, what they call that again, with the electric paddle thingies. I'm not all that much of a doctor myself, except in the video game here, which is teaching me all how to perform surgery here, so you shouldn't have any worries if I ever operate on you in the future. <laughs> Just because I don't know the terms doesn't mean I'm not a good operator. So, here we go, he's flatlining and we need to get out- Oh, the defibrillator! That's the name of it! That, oh, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Okay, move the paddles closer to the screen, and then press the Z and B button at the- Rush say, press them at the same time and release it when it gets right on that green. If you want to excess rank, you must do this perfectly every time it occurs. So get ready for this. Here we go, and I'm probably gonna miss at it because I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Yes, I do understand. Oh, I got a first try. Yeah, baby. I just need to get the rhythm down. Just had to, you know, let it go down a couple of times back and forth. And his vitals will be capped at 30 for this operation. So don't worry about healing him too much. See that? It's capped right at 30. And 
His blood loss here, even though it looks more like puffs of red smoke, reduces vitals pretty dang quickly in this operation. So with that low vital cap there, it's going to put a lot put a lot of pressure on you as opposed to other operations that I probably should have recovered the vitals there. Whoopsie doodle. That is a lot of glass in the heart and evidently evidently I don't have the skill to do it but we have no other choice because there's no other doctors in hand that will be able to do this alrighty and make sure because this is on the heart any blood loss will be a lot more than usual which will reduce the vitals quite greatly and recover this hey I said recover this thank you and the oh I was way off that time curses uh, took three tries. That is going to ruin my excess rank, and that is also very gross. You, you, and you. Just saying. <laughs> and why did I gel that? I don't know. It was a, kind of a force of habit. That was not a small cut whatsoever. Oh boy. Don't die on me. What is this? Let him die. What is this new? Thing must suture. What just happened? I evidently sutured that in a split second. How did I do that? Huh? That doesn't seem possible, does it? Perhaps we'll find out what that is in a later part. And yeah, Angie. She kind of freaked out there, but I kept my cool and did my very best and I ended up saving the patient. So that shows that I am indeed a good doctor. Well, at least Derek is. <laughs> how's my rank? How's my rank? How's my rank? Probably, yeah, because I wasn't very good at the defibrillator thingy. <sighs> so... Whatever that power was, or whatever that thing was with the star, we are going to have figure out later. Hopefully we'll be able to control such a thing, because, as you could tell, being able to move that quickly, or I should say it looks like it slows down time or something like that, would definitely come in handy for patients that are near death. And he's saying everything that was true, but... He is going to try harder and be a better surgeon. <laughs> and she's once again lecturing me, even though that's not quite as well. I guess coming into work late isn't is kind of a bad thing, but paperwork isn't quite as important as saving the patients, or at least I don't think so. Unless you know their medical history might cause or not cause them. Um, might help you with your decision making on the you know the patient's history and so you could get a diagnosis off it and stuff like that but i am going to take a nap because i am exhausted for whatever reason perhaps we will learn about that more later in the next parts i hope you enjoy see you then when we go to chapter two. Oh, actually hmm this is... You know what? I'll do this one right right away. Let's just do this one. Because this is a part of Chapter 1. And I don't really want to split it up into the next part. These are the Z episodes. These are exclusive to the uh, Wii version of the game. It's, it's a little bit expanded compared to the DS game. And this is going to be following a new doctor. This doctor right here. Her name is Nozomi Weaver, and this evidently ties in with the story of the uh, original game, or at least they somehow tie it in with it. For some, I don't really feel like this is all that canon with the story in a way, because it, it, it does change some stuff from the original game that you'll see a little bit later on. Well, providing that you've played the original game. Uh, I, I mean, it, it is in the game and all, but it's hard to say if it's really canon or not because of the fact that it changes the original game's storyline enough to the point that she gets intertwined with it. So, yeah. You get the idea. 
so that was her introduction as well as a little briefing about some things. And what, why am I avoiding media attention? I don't, huh? This seems kind of silly. And there seems to be a problem with this person's bone, a fracture of sorts. So we are going to have to fix up a broken bone. This is something new as opposed to the original DS game. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff for her operations than there were in the DS I'm game. Starting the operation. Uh, this isn't going to be hard whatsoever. It's just like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. Although it, it can be kind of tricky to keep your hands steady as you're placing pieces of it. Well, you'll see as I get there. Let's raise his vitals. You know what? I'll put the vitals in the sheet. I should say raise his vitals by injecting into the sheet there. You know, just because I can. And that was a bad, unsteady hand on my part. <laughs> Holy poopers, that is not looking good. So let's remove this blood. And let's get rid of that. You can see right through the arms for some reason, somehow. And then we gotta collect all these bone fragments. Just pop them right into the tray, and then we gotta bend this bone Wait back into place. And, uh, yeah, like so. And now, this is the tr only tricky part of this thing, is that you've got to twist your hand around and attempt to fit pieces into here. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's see if I can. I hope this is the right way. Mm, right there. And if you miss any, you can say goodbye to your excess rank. Wait, this one goes here? Oh, there's a piece missing for some reason. Where is the piece of poop? I think it's here, actually. Oh, there it is! It's almost as if I played the game before. Cut it out and fit it into place like so. No need to sanitize whatsoever, evidently. <laughs> and let's just afflict it, afflict it with gel, excuse me, just to make sure it's glued into place nice and good. And there we go, it's magically healed instantly. Uh, surprisingly, you don't need to put any screws into it to hold it into place in the future, for whatever reason. And I think a lot of people would be looking forward to that, you know, rather than having some screw structure into their arm while it heals up straight. And uh, that's the operation for you. <laughs> Yay! Happy days! Whenever uh, one of her operations opens up, I'm just going to attack, or I should say, do it right in the part of the chapter that it relates to, like chapter one of Derek's side, I'll, I will do Nozomi's Z1 on her side right away, same goes with chapter two on Derek's, and Z2 of her side. You get the idea. See you tomorrow, everyone! Literally, because this part is going to be ending soon as it's gotten kind of lengthy because I wanted to do her operation just to get uh, chapter one all done and over with. You know, golf is... I do like golf. I'm an avid golfer myself, though I haven't actually golfed any time this year just yet. Oh, I'll definitely go out on the course. That is for certain sometime this year. I like Mario Golf, and I like golf in general. It is a challenging sport. That is for certain. And I did horrendous there. Curses! Okay, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part.